I get it. Free VPNs are tempting. Sure, you tell yourself they might look a bit jank, but I can save a few bucks. Let's still do the job, right? Right? Wrong. With a few rare exceptions, most free VPN apps are either total garbage or a privacy nightmare. But what if you genuinely can't spare the cash and still need a VPN that actually works? No sneaky tracking, no throttled speeds, no oops, we lost your data moments. Hi, I'm Simon with Top 10 VPN, and I can help you with that. Today, we're putting two of the only genuinely trustworthy free VPNs head to head. Proton VPN or Winscribe? We're gonna find out which one's the best for you. Let's skip the marketing waffle and get into what really matters once you hit connect. And don't forget, if you like what we're doing, hit like, subscribe, and smash that bell like it's a skip button on a free VPN ad. The devil really is in the details here, folks. There's a world of difference even between good free VPNs like these two. Let's bring up Proton VPN. If I tap here, you can see there's 10 countries, including the US and Canada. Pretty cool. But, and it's a huge but, you can't manually select a server. What? Yeah, you heard right. Proton automatically connects you to the fastest one, supposedly anyway. If you want to choose your own location, you've got to pay. Honestly, that's a baffling decision that takes a shine off what's otherwise an excellent free VPN. It's especially infuriating given Proton gives you unlimited free data, which is super rare among trustworthy free VPNs. Now, let's take a look at Winscribe. Most servers are locked until you upgrade. But see these flags without a star? Those are the free ones, Atlanta Peachtree, Dallas Barbecue, and a bunch of others. Scrolling down, there's 10 countries in total with free servers. And yes, you can manually pick any of them. Now, down here, in the tiniest writing known to man, just two gigabytes of free data per month. Barely enough for two HD episodes. But you can bump that up to 10 gigs by adding your email when you sign up. So yeah, definitely do that. You can get another five gigs by tweeting about Winscribe, but I'll let you decide whether that's worth going on Twitter or X or whatever it's called now. So Proton's a better pick if you want unlimited data, but Winscribe makes more sense if you need an IP from a specific country. Let's put the apps side by side on my Mac. Proton VPN certainly looks a business. The purple, black and white curve scheme looks really slick. Oh yes, the very first time you open Proton, this massive map will take up most of your screen. But if you're anything like me, you'll slide it away and never think about it again, leaving this much more appealing view. Connect button is fairly big and obvious, nice. I'm not a fan of this done button that pops up at this point. You're just tapping it to make it go away. There's a few too many icons competing for your attention, but having the kill switch on the home screen is smart. Now Winscribe. First impressions, why so small? Actually, it's giving kind of serious Winamp nostalgia vibes, which is either charming or horrifying, depending on your age. One click to connect, one to disconnect, bish bosh done. The layout may not be pretty, but it is clean and easy to use. Server, protocol and IP, all very clear. Extensive settings are hidden behind this burger menu, and even the locations list is minimized by default. Yeah, I could live without the firewall label for the kill switch and the Wi-Fi status icon, but distractions are pretty much kept to a minimum. This is annoying though. Free and paid servers are mixed together, so it's a faff digging through all the paid servers to find one of the free options. And while it's not a problem on this fancy Mac screen, the size of the app and the tiny font can make some of the text pretty tough to read at lower resolutions. And the less said about Winscribe's smart TV app, the better. Oof, that one's a stinker. Overall, both have got solid to good UX that's head and shoulders above most free VPNs. Proton VPN is a very modern and well-designed app, and its paid version is streets ahead of Winscribe's. The free version is still very good, but all the restrictions can make it frustrating to use. Winscribe may be a bit of an ugly duckling, but with nothing locked behind a paid upgrade, it feels a little better in practice. Until you run out of data, it's... Talking of data, with its unlimited bandwidth, Proton should be the champ for streaming and torrenting, right? Wrong. Because you can't pick a server, Proton's basically useless for unblocking international libraries. So even if you could get it to work reliably with Netflix or Disney+, Plus, which you can't, by the way, you're playing the server location lottery every time you hit the connect button. You might get lucky and get the geolocation you need, but you're just as likely to get a Romania or a Netherlands connection as a US one. Not exactly useful when you want to watch a specific show from a specific library. Winscribe though, different story. Watch this. Netflix Canada, works. BBC iPlayer, works. Even Prime Video and DAZN, 
both notoriously tough to access with a VPN, though generally worked in our tests. The only one it tends to have trouble with is US Netflix, and for that you'll need to upgrade. So at the moment, it's no contest. Windscribe is the best free VPN for streaming. Simple as that. Just be warned, that 10 gigabyte cap disappears fast during a Netflix binge. It's just three and a half hours or so at 1080p, or less than half that at 4K. Windscribe is also one of your only free options for torrenting. Proton bans peer-to-peer -peer on free servers entirely. Try to torrent and you'll get this error message. Tough luck. Proton VPN's privacy setup is top tier. It's one of the very few truly no logs VPNs. Almost no information about you stored whatsoever. The only thing Proton keeps is your sign up email, and you can easily make that anonymous. All your profile data is encrypted and stored locally, and deleted the moment you close your account. There's a cool loophole too create your account on the Proton website first, and there's no email verification. Just make up any old email address and then use that and the password it gives you to log in once you've downloaded the app on any device. Sweet. There's also a kind of secret guest mode in the mobile app. At first, it'll ask you to create an account with no option to proceed without. But if you just close the app down and then reopen it, you'll get this screen, which allows you to continue as guest. Pretty neat, huh? I discovered that one by accident while making this video. Most importantly though, Proton's no logs claim has been proven in court. In 2019, a Swiss judge requested user info. Proton couldn't comply because it hadn't stored anything. Windscribe can't quite match that level of privacy. It does collect minimal connection logs, like how much data you've used and when you last connected, but none of it can be used to identify you. To its credit, Windscribe also publishes a transparency report going back to 2018. It shows every law enforcement and DMCA request and zero requests were complied with. It's not quite Proton's courtroom proof level of privacy, but still miles ahead of the junk flooding the app stores. Proton also has annual independent audits, something Windscribe hasn't done yet. And jurisdictions wise, Proton's based in Switzerland, outside EU and Five Eyes surveillance reach. Windscribe's based in Canada, so it falls under Five Eyes surveillance. Not ideal. So in short, Windscribe is private enough for most people, but Proton VPN is privacy royalty. This is where Windscribe absolutely flexes. Let's pop open the menu. You've got split tunneling and it's fully configurable. Not even all paid VPNs have that. Auto connect mode, firewall mode, it's a fancy kill switch. Again, this leaves some paid VPNs in the shade. Protocol selection, port options, packet size, DNS settings, LAN access, MAC spoofing, proxy gateways, and anti-censorship tools like decoy traffic. It's all here and free. And then there's R-O-B-E-R-T, the built-in ad and domain blocker. Totally customizable. You can even make your own filters. You wanna know the best thing? Much as I enjoy a good tinker, you don't need to touch any of this. Despite all of these awesome bells and whistles, you can leave everything on auto, and it just works. Proton VPN, it's a right old tease. All those tempting icons for multi-hop, ad blocking and port forwarding, they're grayed out unless you pay. I get it. It's a freemium product and they want you to cough up the dough. But personally, I don't think frustrating users into upgrading is the way to do it. It's no contest here. Windscribe gives you more actual power for free. All right. Features are one thing, but how fast are they really? A fast VPN means buffer-free streaming, quicker downloads, and snappier browsing. Now, I'd usually do a quick on-screen demo, but because Proton VPN's free app doesn't let you pick your own server, it's basically impossible to run a fair, repeatable test against Windscribe. So instead, let's take a look at the official data from our in-house speed tests. These were carried out over an extended period using a dedicated 100 megabit fiber line and our own controlled test servers. No public tools, no shared infrastructure, just clean, consistent data. So while there are no whizzy dials to watch this time, the numbers that you can see on screen are the real deal. 100% verified, surprisingly impressive. Proton VPN on a local connection came in just one megabit slower on download and two megabits slower on upload compared to our 100 meg baseline. That's incredible. It makes Proton the fastest free VPN we've ever tested. Of course, there's a big caveat. In real life, you don't get to choose your server. If you're in London and Proton drops you onto a node in Tokyo, you're not getting a 1% drop. There'll be a lot more than that. And even if you do land on a nearby server, if it's busy, the speeds are gonna take a hit. But on paper, Proton VPN is seriously quick. Windscribe's no slouch either. 91 down and 92 up on the same 100 meg line, but it can't quite match Proton on raw speed. That said, raw speed isn't everything. Real world performance depends on control, and Windscribe gives you a lot more of that. 
Because you can pick your own server, you can fine tune the distance, congestion, and latency, something Proton's auto-connect mystery box simply doesn't allow. So while Proton wins on pure speed in the lab, Windscribe might actually feel faster in practice. On account of being freemium products, both are better than your typical freebie app for support. Proton offers email support and an excellent help center. Windscribe leans more on Reddit and Discord plus a chatbot. So if you want human help, Proton's a safer bet. Now, support aside, let's talk about personality or vibe because Windscribe's whole brand is irreverent. The top three VPN in the universe and a protecting your ass on the internet slogans on its website. Servers are named things like Florida Man and Crumpets. And I was recently an app notification about Farting. If all of that makes you cringe so hard you fold in two, definitely stay away from Windscribe's social media. Love it or hate it, it's tongue in cheek, chaotic energy. Proton, the opposite. It's all science lab, Swiss precision. We are serious privacy professionals. You'll find Proton CEO Andy Yen doing intellectually rigorous interviews in the serious tech press or speaking about bleeding edge privacy issues at Silicon Valley conferences rather than trolling on Twitter. To be fair, Proton generally was founded by particle physicists from CERN who previously worked on the Large Hadron Collider. So it's not just them being a bit pretentious. If you use a VPN mainly for privacy, Proton's vibe will no doubt speak to you. If you prefer something more laid back and hackery, Windscribe might be more your match. I always say, like most things in life, you get what you pay for with VPNs. But these two are the exceptions. Both are genuinely solid, safe, and transparent free VPNs. They're not perfect, but they won't sell you data or throttle you into oblivion, unlike so many of the bottom of the barrel free VPNs in the app stores. So which should you pick? Privacy purists who just needs an always on VPN for private browsing, go with Proton VPN. It's truly no logs, tested in court. It's slick, super fast if you look out and get connected to a nearby server, and unlimited data. It simply is the better VPN from a technical perspective. But if country-specific IPs are non-negotiable, along with streaming or torrenting, or hell, if you just enjoy tinkering, there's Windscribe all day. Just go in, prepare to get stung by that monthly data cap. And the beauty of free? You can try both and see what fits you best. Honestly, I'd use them both in tandem and get the best of both worlds. For in-depth reviews and all the latest VPN tests, head over to top10vpn.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you around.